history of hemp, 12,000 year history, uh, hemp 2.0. And that's because until then, hemp was, hemp's utility to mankind was always as a fiber crop. Uh, the, we ate, we had seed in every culture that grew the fiber, but they treated it more as an afterthought in a animal food and famine food than they did. Uh, it's in some cultures. Um, there's dips, ritual dishes in Eastern Europe, for instance, and in Asia using hemp seed. So when we started commercializing the seed like it was a soybean in, 2000, in uh, 1994, the, um, the, the reception was quite odd because nobody understood that hemp could, could be a food. They always thought it was just clothes or rope or something. So there was a lot of stigma. Uh, it was a large two centimeter uh, bright marijuana leaf on the label, the hemp leaf, uh, but it was indistinguishable from marijuana. And the, um, the uh, reception was polarizing. Either they loved it or they hated it. And um, the ones that loved it allowed us to get instant distribution nationwide. And the ones that hated it just boycotted it, um, Whole Foods and the like. Yeah, that seems to be the big um, hold-up is the image that it has. People <clears throat> seem to uh, differentiating it between, as you mentioned, being a rope and, and being a food source. We're at the early stage of that in New Zealand. Uh, with, um, we, did, we actually had it back in 2002, back in the early 2000s, and then we had to take it off our shelves. Uh, when we joined the New Zealand Australian Food Safety Standards, so yeah, it's 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 been an inter it's an interesting journey with him. Um, so you did you employ much? Or I don't know if you would consider it disruptive marketing to to um, spike interest in him. Yeah, what was your what was your marketing tactics um, back then? You know, when you got people against you, people for you, what did you do? Well, we lever leveraged the stigma. So we had a bright cannabis leaf, bright, literally neon uh, green cannabis leaf against a dark purple background on the front panel of the, the cheese, the hemprella. And so it was the first time a cannabis leaf was seen on the shelves in the U.S. And naturally, because we were a, we were an Inc. 500 fastest growing company in 93, so we were kind of notorious in California um, in the business press. So it was the first time cannabis was talked about in the business press and also the first time in the, the, the food sections in the newspaper that they talked about cannabis. So it was a really, uh, it was a pioneering effort that allowed us to uh, leverage the stigma against it and make a, a jokes about it and um, one thing we did is we had a smoke the hickory smoked version and we did a, uh, an ad with tie dye in the back and it said when we first introduced tofu uh, hemp cheese they said we must be smoking something and it was the picture of the smoked hemp umbrella and below it it said we are now and things <laughs> like that where we could we could make we could add humor and levity to it. It was never really considered anything other than a professional food. They knew we weren't hippies making it in our garage or in the backyard. They knew it was a professional company. They knew that it wasn't going to uh, get them high because right on the package we had a no THC emblem so that we answered their first question always right away. Uh, everybody wants to know, is this going to get me high? Is this going to get me high? And we took that questions completely off the table right away by using that little graphic image. So it became a discussion about the nutrition and why hemp and, and things like that and, and why we can't grow it and, and the like, instead of a discussion of, um, uh, you know, will it get me high or, or, or am I going to flunk a drug test or whatever. 